Hey guys, uh, this is Brent the Collector here. Uh, it's been a long time since I up uploaded a video. I've only uploaded one video of my collection, and uh, I came across some uh, the mother load of seven inch singles at a garage sale in August. Um, it's now January of 2021. Um, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of it. Um, it's the best find that I've had, and I've been collecting probably over 25 years. So, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first one we're going to start off with is a Joy Division uh, picture disc. Um, an interview with uh, Ian Curtis. That's, that was pretty amazing to find. That one was tucked in with another Joy Division that I got at that sale. Um, second one is the Pastels. I don't really know anything about them. Um, Gallon Drunk. Very cool artwork on that. Alright, next up is Prefab Sprout. Cool little indie band. Next up is uh, Come. The song is called Fast Pissed Blues. Pretty cool. Uh, Chia Pet. Cool little 7 inch. I'm going to run through these quick because there's a fair amount of them. Um, Bush Tetris. Cool. 7 inch. Zuzu's Petals. Very cool finding that. Band was named after a, a dialogue in uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Pretty cool. And then we got The Tubes, White Punks on Dope. That's pretty fun. Next up is The Clash, London Calling, and the B-side is, oh, Train and Bane, double A-side. Um, next up is... In Dury and the Blockheads. And we got Depeche Mode. Everybody likes Depeche Mode, right? Next up is a uh, EP from Wire. Came with an album. Um, I don't remember which album off the top of my head, but pretty cool finding a, a Wire uh, 7 inch. Next up is Moose. Don't know much about them, but it's pretty cool. Um, we got Burning Down the House and Naive Melody. This must be the place. Um, another double A side. Very cool. This must be the place. is beautiful. Next up is Homeboy. Obviously, you can see that it's a, a dog or something tore into that. That's too bad. Next one's a really good one. Uh, Love Will Tear Us Apart. Joy Division. Very cool. Finding that. Velocity Girl. I mean, these are all just in amazing condition. The guy at the garage sale um, got them in a storage auction and uh, yeah, <laughs> This is uh, another Joy Division. Um, this is uh, four songs, Transmission, Novelty, Fact 13, and G GNL. Um, not a huge Joy Division fan, but I'll pick them up every day when they're a dollar a piece. <laughs> Next up is uh, New Order EP. It's kind of an unbelievable find. I'm fairly certain that's a bootleg. Um, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, next up is Poppin' Jays. Don't know much about them. I believe that came out in the 90s. That's cool. Uh, Marianne Faithful, Running for Our Lives. Fun picking that up. Um, next is UB40 uh, with Chrissy Hind from The Pretenders. I got you, babe. All right. Next is an enemy 
um, uh, came with the, the magazine in the 80s. This one's got the Smiths U2. The other side has uh, Cocktail Twins and um, Bronski Beat. All right, next up is Willie Alexander. He was in uh, the Velvet Underground, which is really cool, and I think he's still performing to this day. Obviously not with the pandemic going on, but I think he's still alive and performing. All right, we got Roxy Music, Brian Ferry and Brian Eno. Pretty cool. Next was probably my favorite of the finds. Um, we got... Uh, Joy Division. I think this is from Italy. As you can see, there's actually two in this. Uh, it's a book and uh, comes with a little seven inch single in there, too. Unbelievable finding that. All right, we got the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> um, this is probably the most accessible hardcore punk band you'll find. Maybe besides. Uh, I don't know who could do or something, but this song is is amazing. Um, yeah, unbelievable. All right, we got we got the Cramps. We got a, a four uh, four single vinyl set. Um, this is my favorite that I found. Um, got Faster Pussycat. Uh, I ain't nothing but a gore hound. Yeah, I mean. These guys are crazy. I, I just, you know, I couldn't believe it when I pulled that out. And for a dollar. It's amazing. Put that back in there. Get in there. Alright, let's not wreck it. There we go. Alright. Next up is Alex Chilton. This is a, you know, a four-song EP. Um, this is from the 1986 No Sex European Tour. Uh, has September Girls, which is a big star song. Everybody loves big star, right? All right. Got a Joy Division Cross of Iron um, bootleg. It's crazy. Crazy finding that. Um, this one I don't know much about. Uh, I can't even pronounce the name. That's that's too stylized for me uh, to decipher what that says. We got Fuzzbox. I like I like their uh, their hairstyles. Pretty pretty eighties. All right, we got Cowboys International. This one came with a little clear flexi too it has uh, nothing doing two millions and then the flexi is many times very cool I actually got two of those and then we got Susie and the Banshees Cities and Dust very influential band we got yellow Oh yeah. If you haven't checked it out, you should watch the Todd in the Shadows one hit wonderland of this band. Very, very interesting band. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Alright. We got the Mission 80s 80s group. That's fun. And then we got the Smiths. Morrissey is uh, kind of unbearable. Uh, he's kind of turned himself into a pretty big prick, but I still love their music. This one's pretty cool. This is House of Pain. Um, you know, they were they had a really big hit, uh, Jump Around. This one, he's got the, the green vinyl. Pretty fun. We got Bullfish. I don't know anything about these guys, but shoot, I'll just pick up the whole collection, you know. Then we got Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. 
you know, everybody loves Red Right Hand. Uh, really great band, still making great music today. And then we got Huggy Bear with kind of like a, almost like an 80s um, hardcore album art. Pretty fun. And we got Mud Honey. This one, is this one a colored vinyl? Nope. But Sucky Dry, that's probably my favorite song of theirs. Really cool. And we got Lush. 90s UK outfit. I think they're kind of like, maybe a little bit like Blur with a little bit more shoegaze. And we got Cabaret Voltaire. Pretty cool. The Pogues. The Pogues. Celtic Punk at their best. Yeah, Manifesto. We got Private Lightning. I think they're uh, maybe like a 80s dark kind of rock tune. We got The Cure. <laughs> First demo. I think this is a another bootleg, but I'll take it. I've never never found any bootlegs, and everybody loves the Cure. We got Dinosaur Jr. J. Mascus. Great '90s band. Then we got Joy Division, Incubation, and uh, what's the other side like Comakino or something. Uh, this is actually flexi. This is the first thing I pulled out when I when I saw the collection there, and I knew it was going to be a special day seeing that. Um, another mud honey. This one is this one. Colored? No. Another mud honey. I think they're a great Seattle band. Or we're in that scene anyway. This one's pretty special. Uh, Throwing Muses EP. Um, this sells for a lot on uh, Discogs. Um, uh, nobody's ever going to find another one of these at a Minnesota garage sale in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing. Next we got Afghan Wigs. This one I know is, this one's a clear vinyl. Great 90's band on Sub Pop. And we got Snuff. Love the album art. My teenage self would be very happy to find this. And my adult self is very happy to find this too. Let's move this down. Alright. Next up is Sultans of Ping FC. Where's me jumper? English band. I think they're they they sounded kinda like pub rock to me. Um, this actually sells for a, a fair amount on Discogs too. Um, uh, I like finding that. Here's that other Cowboys International. There's the Flexi. And then we got February. This is a this is a Minnesota band from Minneapolis. Um, they're kind of like the Cocktail Twins. I, I've I looked them up after I found this and uh, I was really impressed. Yeah, this is a great song. Uh, maybe check them out. Alright, we got last but not least here. Yep. We got uh, another enemy four song EP. This one's got Billy Bragg, Elvis Costello. The, uh, the other side is, I believe it's Miles Davis. Miles Davis and Manatronics. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, what's your favorite? Anyway, uh, I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Have a great day.